Let me do a quick word on work length determination. I've been hearing uh, some some people in these courses say, well, you know, my apex locator works sometimes, or, you know, it's great when uh, the moon is aligned with uh, the sun. I mean, it's, it, it can't, uh, an apex locator, working length determination cannot be something like a radar detector that works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It, it, it's got to work consistently to the level of 97% consistency. This is what we expect from your working length determination. Now, you remember the apex has a pretty complex anatomy and sometimes it can be hard to determine in an apical delta where, where the foramen is gonna be. You look at an image like this, how are you gonna determine where that main constriction is? Because this is where you're going to clean and shape and fill. You're not gonna do it short or long. Now, using a precision apex locator like this guy here you see on your screen will help you determine what that constriction is to a very high degree of accuracy, actually more accurate than a, an x-ray. An x-ray will be accurate in determining the constriction about 80, 85 percent of the time. A little machine like this will give you 97 percent accuracy. And how do I know that number? Well, you look at this publication here from 2009. These folks here are checking the consistency of the apex locator function in a clinical study, which is cool. I mean, it's always nice to see how these things happen clinically in, in, in real life. And what these guys found is that if you have anything blocking your way, see, you're traveling down the canal, if you have anything blocking that constriction that prevents you from getting a reading at PDL, from getting patency in the canal, you're only going to get 85% accuracy reading, which is as good or as bad as an x-ray. Now, if you're able to get patency, meaning you go down with your apex locator, you keep going down with your file, once you reach PDL, if you withdraw a little bit, when you get to that precision, you're back to that precision zone on your precision apex locator, that's where the constriction is 97% of the time. That's how you make it work for you. Of course, there are a little more details uh, on top of patency. You want to have on a multi-rooted tooth, you want to suction away that excess fluid from the chamber. That's that's a smart idea. So you're not you don't have any communication between the canals. Or if you're using if you have a metal crown like in this example here, uh, it's a metal crown. You want to do your reading uh, away from the cable, so your apex locator or your file are not touching the the metal. Uh, that goes without saying. And you don't want a canal that is too dry or too much moisture that can throw you off. So. Uh, having some uh, some fluid in the canal will give you a more precise reading according to those folks. And make sure your lip clip is well positioned. You know, the way we have set up in our office, we have, uh, uh, we get the patient numb, we get out of there. When uh, the assistant is placing the rubber dam on, she's already going to have the lip clip ready, connected, so everything is connected, ready for you. It may take you a while to find all canals, so when you're ready to use your apex locator, you want to make sure that lip clip is still in the same position. It's well positioned. So that's important too. And uh, you want to check for oxidation of the... You know, there, there are two issues here. One is oxidation. You want to make sure your contacts are all polished, so that, that's important. And there's another issue. After using these apex locators for a while, you know, like uh, your assistant will wrap that cable around the machine uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's a, it's a, a copper cable inside. Uh, they can very often separate. Then you have to replace the cable. You have fresh batteries, fine, but if you don't have a, an intact cable, you'll give you a bad reading. So. Using all these simple steps, but mainly the patency, mainly going through the apex and reading on your way back is what's going to make it 97% consistent. Thanks for listening. This has been Alex Fleury with Real World and 